The compilation of the messages and papers of the presidents is an 11 volume series comprising proclamations, special messages, and inauguration speeches from several presidents throughout United States history. There are ten numbered volumes each covering a set of presidents between the years of 1787 and 1902 and an 11th index volume. The initial set was copyrighted in 1897, by James D. Richardson, a representative from the state of Tennessee, and was published in 1911, by the Bureau of National Literature and Art. The private copyright of these public documents became a political dispute known as the Richardson Affair and copyright of such works was prohibited in 1895, eventually leading to a comprehensive prohibition on copyright of works of the federal government. There is also a supplement version that covers individual presidents in depth and was published, also by the Bureau of National Literature, but in 1917. A typical volume has the seal of the president emblazoned in the front and the back. The original first edition was printed in 1899 by the Government Printing Office in Washington, D.C. Only 6,000 copies were printed and presented to members of Congress and the Senate for reference. 2,000 for the use of the Senate and 4,000 for the use of Congress. In 1911, there was a third printing and contained 20 volumes. There was no 11th volume in the first printing. The index is contained in the 10th volume. These volumes are brown and have no seal. Contents <inaudible> 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 Topic Volume One. The original first edition was printed in 1899 by the Government Printing Office in Washington, D.C. Only 6,000 copies were printed and presented to members of Congress and Senate. 2,000 for the use of the Senate and 4,000 for the use of Congress. In 1911, there was a third printing and contained 20 volumes. There was no 11th volume in the first printing. The index is contained in the 10th volume. These volumes are brown and have no seal. The first edition of the series was first presented to Congress and the press on May 1, 1896, to much public acclaim. On May 22, Congress ordered 15,000 copies of the publication to be printed and distributed among the general public. It covers the terms of George Washington, John Adams, Thomas Jefferson, and James Madison between 1797 and 1817. <laughs> Volume 2 Volume 2 covers the presidential terms of James Monroe, John Quincy Adams, Andrew Jackson, and a little of Martin Van Buren. The Treasury Department at Washington, D.C. is illustrated as the frontispiece and includes the portraits of John Quincy Adams, Andrew Jackson, and Martin Van Buren. Volume 3. Volume 3 finishes the office of Andrew Jackson and covers the term of Martin Van Buren. These occur between 1837 and 1841. <laughs> Volume 4 IV Asterisk Part 1, William Henry Harrison, March 4–April 4, 1841 Asterisk Part 2, John Tyler, April 4, 1841 to March 4, 1845. Asterisk Part 3, James K. Polk, March 4, 1845 to March 4, 1849. Topic Volume 5V. 
Asterisk Parts 1 and 2, Zachary Taylor, March 5, 1849 to July 9, 1850, and Millard Fillmore, July 10, 1850 to March 4, 1853. Asterisk Part 3, Franklin Pierce, March 4, 1853 to March 4, 1857. Asterisk Part 4, James Buchanan, March 4, 1857 to March 4, 1861. Topic Volume 6 Vi. Asterisk Part 1, Abraham Lincoln, March 4, 1861 to April 15, 1865. Asterisk Part 2, Andrew Johnson, April 15, 1865 to March 4, 1869. Topic Volume 77. Asterisk Part 1, Ulysses S. Grant, March 4, 1869 to March 4, 1877. Asterisk Part 2, Rutherford B. Hayes, March 4, 1877 to March 4, 1881. Volume 8-8 Asterisk Part 1, James A. Garfield, March 14 to September 19, 1881. Asterisk Part 2, Chester A. Arthur, September 19, 1881 to March 4, 1885. Asterisk Part 3, Grover Cleveland, March 4, 1885 to March 4, 1889. Topic, Volume 9, Lux. Asterisk Part 1, Benjamin Harrison, March 4, 1889 to March 4, 1893. Asterisk Part 2, Grover Cleveland, March 4, 1893 to March 4, 1897. Topic, Volume 10X. Asterisk Part 1, Messages, Proclamations, etc. Omitted from Volumes I to IX. Asterisk Part 2, William McKinley, Messages, Proclamations, and Executive Orders Relating to the Spanish-American War. Supplemental Volume, Asterisk Part 1, William McKinley, March 4, 1897 to September 14, 1901, Additional Messages, Proclamations, Executive Orders, and Last Public Utterance to the People at Buffalo. Asterisk Part 2, Theodore Roosevelt, Messages, Proclamations, and Executive Orders to the End of the 57th Congress, First Session. <laughs>